guys, it's your girl Pam, and we have a special guest, my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Tim, and guys, I told you we did this once before, and the footage got lost. So, we're going to do it again. He has been so gracious to help me out again. Um, I really wanted you guys to see his um, and see and hear his story because his transformation um, <laughs> um, is a little, it's big. <laughs> his transformation has been big. That's the word we need to be, we need to use. So um, he's going to do some Q&A. And um, the first time he did not remember the question. <laughs> this time he's already heard him, <laughs> so we'll go back. But um, I just wanted he he was one of the first people, other than the staff that I met when I first um, started here, and he's always been very nice. We both had Kia, so I would say, "Hey, Mr. Kia," I ain't know who he was, was nothing else, but. He would always wave, and then finally he <laughs> he started talking to me. He's a little shy. <laughs> um, and then I met his wife, and so his wife works out with me and Jazz um, a lot. And every blue moon, Tim will come over there, but Lord knows Tim loves his treadmill, so that's where you're going to find him. So anyway, we're going to start off the q and I want to tell you thank you um, for doing this. Trice, <laughs> but we're gonna get through this. We're gonna go with old reliable my S6 and make this happen. My first question for you is what made you decide to lose weight? My little girl, okay. I mean, we was playing one day on the floor and I couldn't get up. Yeah, that was a wake up call. Okay, okay. How did your baby? She's saying that. She's 10 now. Okay. So, you guys were just hanging out on the floor, playing, roughhousing, and all that stuff. Yep. And it was time. She got up to go, yep. and you didn't. Yep. <laughs> I laid down. I tried to get up for about two or three minutes and had to call for help. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to, I'm going to zoom in on these pictures later, y'all. But this is Tim before. <laughs> And this is Tim now. Now I asked him the last time because he didn't show me which was this one. That's me. He didn't show me this picture when he because he was he would show me how much weight he was losing. He's lost a lot more since I've seen him. I didn't even know who he was about what a month ago. I you were working out on the bench. I didn't even have a clue. I said, Liz, where's Tim? I didn't even know where he was. Um, tell him how much you weighed right here. Four hundred and sixteen pounds. So 416 pounds, y'all. And now you weigh? 217. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> I remember this question. Okay. I remember the answer. <laughs> what do you think caused your weight gain? I was, I was hanging out. I was clubbing. You know, eat late at night. Just, just didn't care. Just whatever you saw, that yeah. what you did. I always had to finish everything on my plate. I, d I still have, I still hear my mom in the back of my head, hung about. You know, all them kids in Africa starving. <laughs> <laughs> my mom used to say, "I'm like, are you kidding me?" And I still yeah. struggle, and it's like because my eyes are bigger than my stomach, I pile more on my plate. But then I feel guilty. My mom would just like, I would just feel actually guilty about the fact that I didn't finish. And I still feel that. So, how did you learn to reduce your portions? Because I'm assuming that's what you did. Oh, yeah. I said, well, once I started working out, I, said, I just quit eating late at night. Okay. And, but see, the thing about it, my wife said, tell me, I still order big, like, well, I still order big and all that. But I don't, I don't eat it. Okay. My eyes still see, see that I need to get more food, but you can't you yeah, can't hold it now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't there yet? Just pray for me. Pray for me. Okay. What do you typically eat? 
on a day. I have a good breakfast. I mean, I got to have my grits. I gotta have a grits. And I think people think that they can't have starches yeah. and stuff like that. You can, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have a grits and some eggs. I, I do, uh, I like lunch. I don't too much eat dinner. If I do eat dinner, it'd be before 6 o'clock. But... And you ain't <laughs> eating dinner because you yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, eat a, I eat like a, a snack, you know what I'm saying, if I do get hungry. But, yeah. but my, whole, my, whole, my whole appetite don't change. I mean, once you start working out and you start coming back on your food levels, you see your whole appetite might change. Okay, okay. So, tell them how long, how many hours in a day you usually hear. Okay, okay. <laughs> when I first started here with we'll pay, I was doing two hours a day. Now I'm going to go to four hours a day. And the weekends? The weekends I do five, six. <laughs> <laughs> you going to leave that out. <laughs> I have more time on the weekend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so most of his time, honestly, y'all, is on the treadmill. He has now, in the beginning, he wouldn't do any kind of, just a little bit of um, strength training, but not a whole lot. Nothing, nothing like the free weights and stuff like that. And tell him why you decided to do it that way. Because you know, say, well, once you start lifting weights, you have to, you gain weight when you start lifting weights. And I wanted to get the weight off before. Do you feel like that would have messed with your psyche. Oh yes. I, okay. Yeah. 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 I get it. You gotta start working out, and then you go find a way, and you go get on skate. Like, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gaining. <dating. laughs> <It's not really. laughs> yeah, it's a couple of other yeah. words in there. <laughs> Tell them what your routine normally is. Just do a weekday, like the treadmill and then yeah, treadmill. right now I'm going to say treadmill I come in when I come in I do an hour on the treadmill my first hour then I go back and do like 10 10 15 minutes for uh, free weights now then I come back and do another hour on the treadmill go back and do another 10 15 minutes on the free weight come back and do another hour <laughs> 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 Tell me, that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot that's, that's, that's how my basic routine goes so <laughs> god it just tired me out. Okay, so your four hours that you normally hear, that's including about three hours, I'm assuming, on the no, treadmill? So, no, so actually I'm here more, more than four hours. Because I do an hour each time on the treadmill. So you're doing two, four separate hours yeah, on the treadmill, yeah. and then yeah. in, a, in between you're doing about 15 minutes. So you're yeah. there about five, five hours. hours yeah. Okay. Woo. Glory. <laughs> do you have any regrets? Or anything that you would have done differently? No, I just wish I would have started sooner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Approximately how long had you held? Not necessarily that weight, but you had been overweight. Ooh. For, uh, uh, I'd say 30, 32. 30 Years? 32. No, when I started, that's when I... Started picking up? Yeah, really heavy weight. Okay. I was about 31, 32 years old. So, 15 plus? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. So, do you know what the trigger was? Well, I had my own business, making good money. Yep. So, I was eating good, drinking good, and just <laughs> living it up. All right. <laughs> Celebrating like the kings, eh? Okay, I get it. I get it. I mean, the bottom line is, is that, especially in our culture, that's what we do. We eat at weddings. We eat when folk die. We eat when they born. We eat Christmas, Thanksgiving, on Sunday with Big Mama. I mean, that's just the way we're we're reared. And so, it's hard to take that component out. And and, and it's not the cleanest eating either. You know. That's true. So when we do have celebrations and stuff, that's the first go to. We go and you know, go out to eat, somebody doesn't want to cook or whatever, and so we really don't have a clue what they are putting in the food and how they're keeping it fresh or if they are keeping it fresh. <laughs> and so we end up just kind of eating haphazardly. And the other part of that is the portion sizes. You know, when they're at the restaurant, they give you double. So I started mm -hmm. just dividing it before <laughs> I asked for a to-go box before they even bring it to the table because I'm like... If I see it, I might be tempted. I might be tempted. I'm not going to lie because, once again, my eyes are bigger. And if it, if I put it away, 
then I don't hear my mama. But if it's on my plate, I hear my mama. And I'm like, oh, mommy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the kids. I'm sorry. I should have ate it all. And, and like, I can't have leftovers. I don't understand. <laughs> so, anyway. So, at least we're on the same page with that. If you, do you have loose skin? Do you want to share that? No. <laughs> No loose skin. No loose skin. No loose skin. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did have loose skin, would you take that over the the weight? Oh yes, most definitely. So you would you would be all right with the loose skin? Yes. Would you have the loose skin removed? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. What you say? No, lady, let me up this you like it is. Okay, well, no, because a lot of times, you know, people talk about weight loss, and then they talk about the loose skin, and a lot of people get scared about that. They don't want the, the loose skin, and at least with my fluffiness, I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just kind of puffed it all out, so, okay, well, that's good to know, though. Do people treat you differently since you've lost weight? Not, not really. I mean, they just congratulate me. On my way lost, but. No, you had, you hadn't lost any friends. No. no, no. The lady still loved to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Liz, I'm sorry. I did that on purpose to see if people say no. I'm a faithful girl. You go nasty. I'm doing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you said it. They didn't care. They loved you like this, and they love you like that. Yep. That's and that's the difference between men and women. See. That's the difference. Now you that's know it right. as well as I do. You are right. <laughs> you are right. You, <laughs> let me tell you something. If a man is not into a fluffy girl, ain't nothing getting ready to change that. And I I've walked past men and it didn't have anything to do with weight. You just weren't my type. And so I give the same respect. If I'm not your type, it's not a problem. I don't have a problem with that or nothing at all. However, I think it's more acceptable for a man to carry weight than it is a woman. Yeah, that is true. I mean, I don't, I don't heard that. Yeah, that is. So I'm just trying to figure out why do you think that is? Because, uh, society. Okay. And That's... they dictated what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. I mean, you know me. I, I'm. I don't know. I just think it's wrong because I think it's more health. If you're healthy, like Bob Green, Oprah's old trainer. Was it Oprah's old trainer or The Biggest Loser? Harper? Maybe it was Bob Harper. Whichever one. One of them really fit men. Ended up having a heart attack. And I mean, he was known for being an exercise guru and ended up with a heart attack. So all I'm saying is, is that Aside from health, I just, I, I guess from a man's perspective, <laughs> Liz is, is, she's petite. She just is. But is that just your cup of tea? Or if you weren't married a hundred years, <laughs> would, would you discriminate against somebody because of their weight? No. I mean, no. I mean, I go by personality. That's, that's me. You got a good personality, you know what I'm saying, good heart, weight, color, size, and no, don't matter with me. Okay, okay, you 31 flavors. Okay, yeah. man, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I done took it back to food. <laughs> so, I hear we have someone in common that we watch on YouTube together. So... You ready to do the shout out? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Who is it that we have in common? What's up, being the father? <laughs> <laughs> when me and Mike uh, were doing the collab, of course, I showed my brother. I was like, Tim, look, I'm doing my first collab. And he was like, oh, cool. He was like, wait a minute. I watched him on, on YouTube. So, hey, Mike, we, <laughs> we love you. What's up? <laughs> okay, I got one more question. What would you say to that guy right there? Lose some weight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know. Lose some weight. Lose some weight. 
don't know. know. No. Unless I don't, I don't discriminate against folks on their sides. I don't, I don't but would you me. tell him that there's a better you on the other side? I that was the first thing. It, 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 a better version, not you yourself, but just a healthier version yeah. of you on the other side. Because yeah. you were telling me like, oh, you, you know, I don't worry about walking up stairs and all that other stuff because you were saying that that tired you out very quickly. And I'm, I'm sure that was a lot of weight. You know it and yes, I know it. Yes. Everybody else knows. It was a lot of weight. Um, I know sometimes it just depends. If I've been in the gym, then I don't get tired like that. If I've been at the gym for a minute, them stairs yeah. might... <laughs> It might be a different story. Yeah. So I get it. So I just, you know, I just thought that was interesting. Um, lose some weight. I can't with you. <laughs> I cannot with you. Okay, uh, let me ask you this. What would Lynn say to him? Now that she's seen him. <laughs> oh, she, she don't go back to to him. <laughs> That's what she would say to oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, she congratulated me almost every day, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good job. Yeah, that's good. Y'all got a good relationship. Y'all really do. Y'all got a good relationship. They come in, they work out together, they'll separate because Tim's not going to always go with us <laughs> over to Jazzy Jazz because, hey, Jazz, he, he's just not. I want to thank you so very much for, you know, sitting down and talking to me. Hopefully, this will help somebody know that they, too, can do it naturally. Yes. No operations, no nothing. You didn't have any excess skin, and you were able to do this on your own. Yes. Approximately, how long did it take you? Uh, right now, about almost about almost two years. Okay, so two yes. years, y'all. Yes. Two years of your life, of getting your life back, because that's basically what you did. You got yes. your life back. So, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, butterflies, we get ready to wrap this up. I appreciate you, Tim, getting off of the treadmill and sharing a little time with us and doing a little Q&A. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you do so. Also, make sure that you hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>